Flintworks is carving out a unique space at the intersection of mental health and immersive tech. Leaning into digital and telehealth trends, we believe that Flintworks Trauma Beachhead is an unmet need that leads naturally into a platform for immersive mental health interventions. Skills in neuroscience, technology, and disability services give this team an edge in what is a competitive landscape. Hi, I'm Dr. Tia Cummins. I'm a clinical neuroscientist, ex-soldier, and CEO of Flintworks. Now at Flintworks, we're delivering the future of mental health care through innovative digital tools. We're starting with the development of a virtual reality software that will help in the treatment of post-traumatic stress disorder. 600 million people around the world have PTSD. Unfortunately, many treatments for PTSD are not effective, and the disorder is associated with a number of other mental and physical health conditions. On top of that, it is associated with an unsustainable social and economic cost. Now, VR has experienced huge growth within the field of mental health. And over the last 20 years, we've seen it scientifically validated as an effective tool for treatments of mental health conditions, including PTSD. Unfortunately, many of these tools have remained within the lab until now. So we're developing VR software that will be used by psychologists to safely simulate the trauma experienced by their client with PTSD, thereby allowing them to deliver effective and safe exposure therapy. For the client, they'll put on their uh, VR headset and they'll be immersed in a 3D virtual world. The psychologist can then add elements to this world in real time and via an iPad app to slowly rebuild and re-expose the individual to a simulation of their um, trauma related to the PTSD. So this is a companion to standard therapy, it's personalised to the patient and it includes biofeedback monitoring. And this provides the clinician with unique insight into the well-being of their client in real time throughout the session. So our product includes a digital platform, the VR and iPad apps, hardware, off-the-shelf headset, iPad and wearable, and ongoing technical and training support. We have a SaaS B2B model and will predominantly be selling to large mental health-based organisations. We've identified key channels with acute pain points and our first focus is military veterans via the Department of Veterans Affairs, who have a huge clinician workforce. From here, we'll move into other trauma-dense sectors such as first responders. This will be via insurance companies who pay hundreds of millions a year in PTSD disability compensation. By phase three, we move into civilian and international markets. So this space is growing rapidly. Last year, nearly a billion US dollars was invested in mental health startups. This includes our closest competitors who use VR to treat phobia and chronic pain, and as you can see, have attracted large investment. Space also has its first unicorn, recently valued at 4.3 billion. So why us? Well, I'm a clinical neuroscientist and I have a unique blend of both military and scientific expertise. And I've also been a caregiver for people with PTSD. Now, Pete has 20 years of experience in digital product design, development, and innovation, and is a specialist in emergent technology, such as VR. Now, we're also supported by an advisory group that includes world-leading experts within the domain of PTSD. So we've spent hundreds of hours building relationships with various stakeholders. We have strong support from the Minister for Veterans Affairs Office, as well as the National Veterans Counselling Service. We expect to trial the prototype in the coming months, and then we'll expand into other markets using our deep-rooted industry relationships and plan to be the leader in the digital therapeutics arena by 2026. The field of mental health is stuck in the dark ages. Now, as a soldier, scientist, and caregiver, I've seen firsthand the devastation caused by PTSD and its ineffective treatments. We at Flintworks believe that now is the time for a reimagining of what mental health care could be. If you would like to help us, specifically if you think you could help us with our next bridging raise, please get in touch. We would love to hear from you. Thank you.